Do you know how to quickly indent the beginning of a paragraph, or start a numbering list, or select one of the overlapping layers? The tab key will help you make it. Now I'll introduce you to five common uses of the tab key. 1. Indentation When writing an article, a novice user usually indents the beginning of a paragraph by four characters by pressing the space key, but it's too troublesome. Actually, we only need to press the tab key, and it will be indented by four characters automatically. Then we can input the text. Tips To customize the default tab stops for indentation, right-click the mouse and select Paragraph to pop up a dialog. In the Indents and Spacing tab, click Tabs to pop up a new dialog and set it in the Default Tab Stops area. 2. Quick Alignment When we need to align multiple lines of text for better layouts, it is a waste of time to keep pressing the space key. In fact, the tab key and ruler can help a lot. First, we need to open the ruler manually. Click the View tab and check Ruler. Second, select all the text that we need to align. Confirm the position of alignment and then click on the ruler. Third, Place the cursor before the text that we need to align and press the tab key successively. Then the text is aligned. 3. Multi-level numbering When we are typesetting the text, we can number it to make it more logical. We can select the text and click the numbering drop-down button to number the text quickly. Now the text only has level 1 numbering. To create level 2 numbering, we can place the cursor before the targeted paragraph and press the tab key. To create level 3 numbering, press the tab key twice, and so on. 4. Quick operations of tables. There is no need to switch cells using the mouse when editing tables in a Word document. We can quickly switch to the next cell by pressing the tab key. If we need to add a row, we can also press the tab key in the last cell of the last row then a new row will be generated automatically. 5. Quick Switch It's difficult to select a shape from overlapping layers, but we can select one and switch between them by pressing the tab key. Then we can quickly select the targeted object. With multiple Open Word documents, we can also switch between these documents quickly by pressing Control-Tab. These are five common uses of the tab key. Did you get it?